Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to another house tour. Now this is a house that I built for a friend of mine. Her name is Jess and she asked that I build a home, build a home for her Sims. So I will actually read the email that she sent me at the end of the video during the screenshots. I figured that's the best place to do it because there's not really much commentary that I could do during the screenshots that you guys will hear about hearing. So yeah, I figured that is the best option. <laughs> so I, I know that's backwards and doesn't really make a lot of sense, but please just bear with me. So we'll start off with the front of the home as always. <laughs> Where else would we start? And this house, well, it's a two story. It looks like it's three stories, but that top floor is just empty. I just put the windows there so it didn't look completely weird. Um, <laughs> it has a two car garage. Well, actually you'll see the garage when we get to it. And then there is like this white brick that goes around the entire property. And then all the way up front here, there is actually two entrances. One is for a daycare and the other is for the family to come through, but really they could go in any way that they like. Um, but this is technically the family's front entrance. So I went ahead and plopped down a cute little table and chair set right back here in the corner. <laughs> And this house is nice and bright. I mean, definitely not colors that I normally do, although they are colors that I gravitate to. So I don't know why I never thought of putting really fun colors and patterns on the front and the exterior of the home. But I really like this little nook here with the, the green and blue table and chairs. I hope you guys like it too. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on that front door and we'll get started with the inside. <laughs> Going through the front door. Well, there's two front doors, but going through this front door and oh my gosh, you could see outside to the back already, but that's okay. We'll, we'll definitely tour the back as well. There's a nice big backyard, which you probably saw. But anyways, this is part of the living room when you first come in. And I thought it was really cute to build like this little nook behind the window. So you have the brick fencing, so it's closed in, but you still have these beautiful sunflowers that I assume are growing wild because I don't know how you'd be able to get back there and water them. Well, I guess you could open the window and water them. Ah, yeah. Yeah, see, I did something. I did something right. <laughs> and then here's a shot of the pool. The gosh, that fountain looks crazy, so don't pay attention to that. I'll show you that better when we actually go outside. And this is the other half of the living room. So this is definitely a kid-friendly home. I definitely wanted to keep the colors fun and exciting and bright. And although the front of the house, well, I guess it did look beachy. It's like a mix between beachy and maybe Spanish style. I don't know. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but <laughs> definitely. Oh, and shabby chic. I know. What a weird combination. You'll see. You'll see as we go through. Um, but anyways, this is the nice, large, comfy couch. And then behind the couch, there is some greenery and a little cabinet hutch thingy with some plates and a trophy case. No, not a trophy case. I just, I guess, just family photos or comics. I don't know. I don't know. It's a case and I put it there. There's not a whole lot of options for storage. Let's be honest. Um, and then this is kind of an awkward place to put the bathroom right next to the living room, but I ran out of room. So that's what happened. But it's a cute little bathroom. Look at it. Oh, it's very bright and white, <laughs> but it's also really fancy and I don't know, glamorous. It's just a tiny little thing. There's a toilet. Toilet. <laughs> um, but I really like the flowers in front of that beautiful mirror. I love that mirror. All right, back and on out of the bathroom. Now, this is the kitchen slash dining room. And again, I wanted to keep it very kid friendly because there is a daycare inside of this house as well. So, well, a mini, a mini daycare. Yeah, it's, it's mini. You'll see that in a minute. Um, so there is one single high chair. I know, just one. Um, well, we also have the chocolate fountain, which just, I don't even know if you have in your game, but if you don't, it'll disappear. And if you do, yay, chocolate fountain. Um, we have these cute little... Uh, stools in front of the kitchen counter and it doesn't really go with the aesthetic of the home but I don't care it's quirky it's a quirky house so on this side there is the fridge and the I'm losing my words I can't think stove <laughs> I was going to say sink, but the sink's on the other side. Microwave and some cabinets. And look, I did the ceiling. I remembered to do the ceiling. Oh, that's an awkward, weird way to look at the ceiling, but it's there. Ceiling tiles. Um, we have this big, beautiful set of double doors that goes onto the backyard, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then here's the sink. The sink and the little coffee, espresso, drink, something maker. I'm going to go right through the counters. I don't even care. I'm walking through the counters to show you guys the dining room. And the dining room also has like this cute little hutch so that you can store your plates and fancy dishes. And then there is a nice large table. Um, the rug has a boat pattern on it, which I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute and whimsical. And since this house is so 
quirky, <laughs> a mix of everything. Why not have boats on the carpet? Why not? Why not? <laughs> I say that a lot. <sighs> All right. So <laughs> that's, that's the dining room. All right. Oh, and there's also like this giant potted flower plant back here. Oh, I love it. Now, again, I am using some store content. I'm not going to point out every single item because that can sound a little bit annoying, but, um, when I do use store content, it is just decoration. So don't worry. Don't worry. Um, okay, so through this way, this this second, this is actually the other entrance from the front of the home. This is the mini daycare I was talking about. Um, <laughs> can't talk. All right, so there is a little rocking horse, the little block set, a crib, and the playpen. Store content. I said I wasn't going to do that, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, there is a toy box and the little blocks and xylophone set thingy. There's also the... Um, the intruder alarm. <laughs> I don't know, but this room has a cute little butterfly wallpaper and back yonder. <laughs> there is a little seating area and a swing. Oh my gosh, I messed up the, I messed up the wall. Whoopsie. Um, <laughs> there's a swing and then this is really awkward, but behind it, there is a potted plant, uh, a window that looks into the backyard and a little itty bitty cove behind the stairs that hides the little baby potty. <laughs> I didn't know where else to put it, but I put a curtain, so it's sort of private. I don't know. How much privacy does a toddler really need? Oh, my camera's getting crazy. Um, we're going to go ahead and go into the garage. Let me fix my camera, hopefully. All right, so here we are in the garage, and the wallpaper makes it look like it's raining. That is so trippy. Oh my gosh, maybe that wasn't the best wallpaper to choose, but this is dad's kind of area. He has another area, which I'll show you. It's kind of a, kind of a surprise. Not really, not really, um, but this is his little tool, tool area, and I put these lights that look like shop lights in the garage. There is lots of stuff from the um, Fastlane stuff pack. We have a jukebox. Oh my gosh, totally cool. I would love to have a jukebox in real life. That would be amazing. My dad used to take me to this restaurant that was modeled after a 20s diner and they had a big jukebox and we would love to play music on it. It was so fun. Um, there are also a few bike racks and little bicycles over here for the family. And I think I said earlier it was a two car garage, but it's actually a three car garage. So you can fit one here in this empty spot. And then I put two cars in here, which you can't really see the little one behind the big one, but there it is. <laughs> going through the car, going through the car. There you go. Nice little, I don't even know what that car is called, but it's cute. All right. And then I think that was, oh gosh, I say and then a lot. I'm sorry. That was the entire first floor without showing you the backyard. So where should we go next? Should we go to the basement or the backyard? Basement or the backyard? Let's go to the basement since we're right here, right here. And then I will show you the backyard next. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so as soon as you come down to the basement, there's a couple ways you can go, but we're going to go this way first because my camera's pointing this way. Um, I put a couple laundry hampers down here because I totally forgot to put them in all the bathrooms, so oopsie. Um, over on this side is one of the bathrooms. I think this is the bigger bathroom down on this floor. And there is just a pedestal sink over here, tub shower combo, and then a nice large counter area. I know I could have put the sink in the counters, but I wanted it to look like maybe an older home that's had some upgrades. So I figured leaving that pedestal sink over there and just using this as makeup and styling tools space would be appropriate. All right. And then where's the toilet? I swear there's a toilet. Oh, it's hiding behind the sink. Ah, ta-da, toilet. <laughs> I don't know why I always zoom in on the toilets. <laughs> they all look the same anyway. All right, so across the hallway, there is, um, well, I'll show you. This is the second bathroom down here, and this is just a small little half bath, I think. So we have a sink over here and, ooh, toilet, toilet, toilet. All right, <laughs> we'll back on out of there and take you to the laundry room. So this is a cute little laundry room. It just has a washer and a dryer. I put a laundry hamper in here and then there's a folding table so that you can get all your clothes nice and folded. And then these two garment racks, um, which are store content, but I love them. I'm so in love with them. I can't live without them. I really can't. I love clothing racks in The Sims. <laughs> All right, so further down the hallway, we have two guest bedrooms, and they're kind of boring, so I'm going to show them real quick. So this is guest bedroom number one. There's a dresser over there, <laughs> and the camera's going crazy anyway. 
And this is guest bedroom number two. They're really plain, but they're guest bedrooms. What do you expect? This one has a dresser over here too. Oh, and they both have these standing mirrors as well. All right, now to the fun part of the basement. There's three fun parts, four, four fun parts. This is a big basement. All right, we'll choose the door on the right first. And this is mom's library. Mom likes to read, so I gave her a nice big library with some really comfy leather seating here. And then there are these books that are, they, I don't know, they look like old ancient scrolls or something. Um, but yeah, there's, there's the library. Now the, all the walls are lined with bookcases, which are really cool. None of them are secret doors, unfortunately, but I don't know, maybe you can make them a secret door, make a secret passage down here if you want. Woo, wonky camera. Actually, that's not too bad. User error, probably, <laughs> most likely. All right, so mystery door number two is dad's workshop and this one has a little bit of everything um did i forget the ceilings in the basement oops i forgot the ceilings oh well um over here we have a workbench where you can do stuff and things and this thing where you could do stuff and things and a computer desk that made no sense don't mind me don't mind me i'm just touring the place all right and then a surprise number three i guess because mom's library was one dad's workshop was two it's a game room look at this game room she totally didn't even ask for this but she did ask for a music room so i thought why not throw like the whack-a-mole sets and the pinball machine and the basketball hoop and again i think those are all store content so you could always put um i don't know a full table or full foosball table whatever the game comes with if you'd like instead and then this is the stage area for the band i guess the kids like um well, I don't know if there's kids yet, but when there are kids, they'll have a place to come down here and play music and rock out with their friends and hang out. And I just like lined the walls with posters because I could, because I could. All right. Oh, and the Plants vs. Zombies poster back here is one of my favorite things, but it's so gigantic. So I figured a game room slash basement is the perfect place to put it. Plants vs. Zombies is one of my other favorite games and I play it nearly every single day. All right. And then surprise number four before we go upstairs to the backyard is... Dun, 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 a movie theater and she did ask for this there is a, there is a lot of store content in here we have the popcorn machine and the cotton candy machine um some nice comfy leather couches this would be a great place to come and lounge and i'm just going through the furniture i don't care and then the gigantic tv so again if you don't have these items from the sims 3 store they'll disappear but you could still put a little wall mounted tv there and not have popcorn and cotton candy but come on that's the fun part of a home theater isn't it <laughs> all right so that is the basement now i'm gonna go ahead and go up to the backyard because that's really fun as well so i'll meet you there in a second because my camera, my camera, my camera, my camera is going crazy. All right, see you in the backyard. <laughs> okay, so there's actually two ways to go outside. One is here through the kitchen, the other is through the garage, but we'll go through the kitchen, through the kitchen doors, outside. All right, so you kind of saw this earlier anyways, but this is the pool area. And let me give you a little bit of a better angle here. <laughs> Oh, and I might as well hit play so you can see the cool fountain. Ooh, that's going super fast. Oh, pause. I always have it fast forwarded. I don't know why. Anyways, big pool area. There are a couple of lounge chairs here with some towels and some candles. Woo, zoom too much. And then, there I go with the and then. It's like that scene out of Dude, Where's My Car? Where the girl through the drive-thru is like, and then, and then, and then, and they keep ordering more food and I keep doing that. Or like an infomercial where it's like, yeah, and then there's more. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm annoying. Um, but anyways, here's the kids play area of over here some swings a tree house which i did not build it's just an object but the kids can go in there and play sometimes they build tree houses for the homes but there wasn't a whole lot of room in this yard i kind of messed up and made the yard smaller than i wanted it's still a good size though i guess you can't complain um but this is a seating area with a little lemonade we also have the fire pit over here and then just requested that there is a gardening area for the mom i think so that's what's over on this side all fenced in so the kids can't get in and mess it up and she also asked for lots of seating so we have another fire pit here with a buffet table so that you can have little parties and then way in the back we have a hanging egg basket chair i keep calling that i don't know if that's the technical name but it is a store content item and it's one of my favorites so i highly recommend getting it 
and I was gonna say and then <laughs> all right so so let's let's um let's go upstairs all right so I came upstairs from the daycare because that's the only way to get upstairs and there is a sweet little uh wait uh uh entryway with a plant a couple plants and a little table <laughs> and some mirrors <laughs> normie all right further down the hallway oh my gosh i don't even remember what's up here so we're just gonna have to pick away pick away oh there's a lot of doors one two three four it's a lot of doors let's go this way instead <laughs> two doors much better <laughs> all right so to the left is nursery i really love this nursery it's very um it has like very pastel colors. It's it's still fun and bright and colorful though, but much more muted tones. We have the baby changing area, the crib, um, some butterflies and fishies on the wall. There are a couple of swings in front of the window, so adorable. Another high chair. And on this side, we have a TV with some toys, a rocking chair, a bookshelf. I love this bookshelf. It's so, so, so adorable. Look at that. The little birdies on the branches and the, the stuffed animal on the bottom and another crib with a bear. Hi, bear. <laughs> I really like this nursery. It's cute. All right. Of course I like it. I made it. What am I talking about? Oh, <laughs> oh there's some stuff I make that I don't like, just to, be, just to be clear. So directly across from the nursery is mom and dad's room. And this one has a nice big canopy bed. There is a computer desk right here for mom and dad. They also have some extra seating and a beautiful vanity and a bookshelf. Everything you need, right? What else would you need in a bedroom? Over on this side is their ensuite bathroom. And this one is definitely more quirky. Um, we have this really cute wallpaper with the flowers on it, which looks very vintage. It can look very old lady, but you guys know I kind of like that grandma style. Um, <laughs> there is a sink and a toilet on this side. And then on this side is another sink, double sinks. And there is a little towel rack and tub shower combo. So that's the adorable bathroom. It's so cute. So shabby chic. Oh. Can I just pat myself on the back because I'm liking this bathroom? <laughs> All right, back through the bedroom, back through the hallway, a million doors, a million doors. I think these two are bathrooms. Let's see. Yeah, so there's one bathroom here. Just going to keep it short and simple. Don't need to tour 8,000 bathrooms. This house has a lot. And then this one, I think, is a bathroom, too. Yep, another bathroom. I didn't get too creative. The colors are pretty similar, but that's all right. Okay, now, what's this room? One, two, oh, there's so many bedrooms. Okay, <laughs> another bathroom. <laughs> there's plenty of bathrooms, guys. I think you could fit, like, eight Sims in here. Definitely, you could fit the whole family. All right, this is the fun part. These are the four kids' bedrooms. All right, <laughs> so... Oh, I don't know which one to do first. Let's do these first. These are more suited for um, a young adult or a teenager. So this first one here is oh, so pretty. It definitely has a more um, Asian influence to it. And I love the dark reds. This key on the wall is so cute. Over here, there is a dresser, a computer desk with a computer on it, of course. And then back here, I have this awkward little part of the house. Uh, I didn't know what to put in here, so I just put a plant. And I think I think it's cute. I like it. I'm not complaining. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next bedroom. Going through the bedroom door. Okay, this one's definitely more country, shabby chic type. It has this really pretty mint bed. Um, some stained glass lamps. Well, I guess one stained gla glass lamp, stained glass lamp. <laughs> and this one that has a little teapot. Oh, so adorable. And then there is a computer desk with a laptop. Really pretty flower painting. A dresser and a vanity. Now the dresser store content, the vanity is not. So one of those might disappear if you don't have it. Disclaimer. Going through the dresser. Um, down on this end is just a little entryway table or hallway table, I guess. All right, now the two bedrooms. I don't know which one to go through first because these are the kids' rooms and they're so fun. I think they're the funnest bedrooms I've ever made. <laughs> 
I sound so conceited. I promise I'm not. <laughs> but, all right. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go. Let's go to this one first. So this is the princess bedroom. I love it. I want it for me. I'm an adult and I want this bedroom. <laughs> so we have unicorns everywhere. Unicorns on the four post bed. There is a little pony next to the bed. There is a vanity, which is so cute. I love this vanity. Oh, I love this vanity. We have the Princess Castle bookcase. Oh my gosh. The wardrobe, which I'm in love with. A unicorn poster. A unicorn on the desk. I'm, oh, I love unicorns. I love them. I love them. <laughs> this room is just so cute and so sweet. And on to the last bedroom. Then we'll do our floor shots and our screenshots. And I'll read you the story about the family. <laughs> last bedroom. This one's really cute too. It is a pirate's room. Ah! <laughs> so we have the pirate chest, toy chest. We have this awesome wallpaper, which is like a treasure map. It reminds me of a treasure map. I think that's what it is. Um, the side table has a little shark and some boats. The bed is even shaped like a boat. I didn't even notice this in the game ever. So once I noticed it, you better believe I built a pirate room. Um, there's a mermaid on the wall, the pirate painting. And then back over here, we have a dresser with the mermaid on top, of course. Um, there is store content with that little book with the, I don't know, rabbit skull. I don't know what it is, um, but this kid's a pirate. So he probably pirated it from somewhere. I, d I don't know. I'm just making stuff up now. Um, aren't I always? <laughs> there is a trunk and another beautiful ward wardrobe as well as a computer desk. And this totally looks like something you'd see in a pirate ship. Oh, I did good. I did good. I'm so patting myself on the back and I don't care. I love this house. <laughs> so time for the floor plans. So this is the floor we were just on. We have the staircase in the middle with a bunch of bathrooms. Um, Mom and Dad's room over to the right and their um, suite, which you can't really see, but that's okay. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> the nursery and then the four bedrooms on the left. So again, you could fit two, three, four, five. Six. You could fit way more than eight Sims in here, but at least eight. And if you want to use a mod to fit more, you can fit more. So here's the floor plan of the first floor. So we have the daycare nursery entrance in the middle, the living room to the right, dining room and kitchen in the middle, and the gigantic garage. That's a big garage all the way to the left. Oh, and then here's the, whoops, much better. Here's a shot of the backyard and we're going to do the basement next. All right, so here's the floor shot of the basement. We have the guest rooms, the laundry room, mom and dad's corner, the kid's corner, and the theater where they can all meet and mingle and have fun. So as promised, up next are the screenshots and the story of the family that's going to live here. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss that. All right, so obviously my face disappeared because I, I haven't figured out how to edit my face in with the screenshots yet. So anyway, <laughs> you could just listen to my annoying voice <laughs> and... So here's the email that Jess sent me. She said, hey, Stephanie, I wrote something out for my Sims family so you can build a house. Kylie and Joseph met in sunlit tides through a dating site. They fell in love instantly and they had learned quickly that they were soulmates. Joseph decided it would be best if they had moved from their home in Sunlit Tides to a more cultured life of Roaring Heights. They've been house shopping for the past couple of years and only found an apartment building that they're living in now. With Kylie pregnant and a little one on the way, they need to find a place quickly for their growing family. They would love it if they had their own master suite away from the kids, but able to be close to a big nursery for their little ones. Kylie and Joseph would love it if they could have a place for a movie like a movie. Wait, I can't read. If they could have a place for movies like a home theater since they have been making home movies since they had gotten together. Kylie is expecting and looking into getting a job as a daycare worker. So having a separate entrance for daycare kids to come and go, but be away from the rest of the house would be good. Joseph is a creative sim, so he would like a little room for his hobbies, such as creating and building things. Kylie loves to garden, cook, and read. So I would like a gourmet kitchen, a library, and a nice big garden for her to work on her skills. Joseph would like a nice big garage for vehicles, bikes, and such, and the kids would like a place to play out in the back, such as swings, a treehouse, or other activities. 
They would also like to have a place for guests so they can throw parties during the winter and summer. So maybe a large pool and a place where they can have a big tree and lots of seating. They would also need a basement for extra rooms, a laundry room, and a place for the kids to go and hang out, play their music, and do other hobbies. Anything else you think would be good for the house is welcome. All right, I'm going to pan back into face cam for you guys so I can say goodbye. My face is back. (laughs) <laughs> and I'm here in my favorite princess room, but I just wanted to say, Jess, thank you so much for asking me to build this home. I hope it works out well for you and your future Sims and Sims babies. And if anyone else wants to download the home, of course, it's available for download. The link will be in the description below. And I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you like my videos. And if you do like them, you can subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. You can also find me on any of the social medias listed below to say hello. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful wonderful day. Bye!